Good afternoon. My name is Anu Olafilua. I'm a PharmD candidate at University of Maryland Eastern Shore School of Pharmacy, and I will be presenting on drug formulary. What is drug formulary? Drug formulary is a list of prescription drugs and products that are preferred by your health plan. And the primary purpose of a drug formulary is to encourage the use of safe, effective, and most affordable medication. How is drug formulary developed? The medication and products that are listed on drug formulary are typically selected by the Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee. This committee is made up of healthcare providers from various medical specialties and clinical pharmacies. The committee evaluate medications after approval. They review and approve quantity limits, step therapy, and prioritization criteria. And in order to keep a formulary current, the committee meets regularly to review newly released drugs and or classes of drugs. And when two or more medications are determined to be clinically equivalent, then the cost of the medication will determine if it can be included or excluded in the formulary. The PNT committee rely on published clinical information and medical literature to make decisions. As new information becomes available, the formulary system expands. There are two types of formularies, an open formulary and a closed formulary. In an open formulary, the payer may provide coverage for all formulary and non-formulary drugs. The payer may include the health plan or the employer. However, some drug classes such as cosmetics or over-the-counter drugs may be excluded from the coverage. In a closed formulary, non-formulary drugs are not reimbursed by the payer. A formulary is organized by tiers. Tier means to arrange similar objects in a row or layer. Drugs on formulary are usually organized by copay tiers, which is how much they cost. A typical drug formulary includes three tiers. Tier 1 has the lowest copayment and usually includes generic medications. Tier 2 has a higher copayment than Tier 1 and usually includes preferred brand name medications. Tier 3 has the highest copayment and usually includes non-preferred brand name medications. Medications may be placed in tier three, either because it is new and not yet proven to be safe or effective, or because there is a similar drug on the lower tier of the formulary that may provide the patient with the same benefit at a lower cost. Some drug formularies may include four, five, or six tiers. These tiers usually include specialty drugs. Tier 4 includes preferred specialty drugs. Tier 5 includes non-preferred specialty drugs. And Tier 6 includes non-formulary specialty drugs. To summarize everything I just said, the PNT committee are in charge of what drugs and products go on the formulary and their overall goal is to develop a list of the safest, most effective medications that will produce the desired goals of therapy at the most reasonable cost to the healthcare system. Drug formularies are usually organized in tiers. Generic medications, which are usually dispensed the most, are usually in tier one and have the lowest copayments. Specialty drugs are usually in tiers four to six. Thank you for listening. These are my references.